Hi, Ed Diaz here at the Roland booth with Harmony Central, and today I'm going to introduce you guys to the RD2000. Uh, the RD line has been in Roland since 1986, you know, started with the RD1000, and this is the 30th year of RD, so we've added some really great things to this, to this uh, keyboard. So, one of the great things we've added is we have the V-Piano engine in here. So, V-Piano engine, as you uh, well, might know, is a modeled engine, so you can really get in, into the, the components of the acoustic pianos and really dig in there and customize your own piano that being said it has full polyphony when you're using the v piano engine full polyphony so if you want to go ahead and hold out all the notes you can you're not going to have any dropout at all that's something that's really amazing now to complement that technology we have a new action on here a new piano action called the pha 50 hybrid now what that means is we actually have still have the ivory fill in the keys still have the escapement so you can actually feel the bump in the keys and then also there's wood on the side of the keys this is great gives us a little bit more stability and also when we dig in it actually you know punches back real nice feels great now the next sound engine we have in here is called the supernatural sound engine now what the supernatural sound engine it will help us get all the subtleties and nuances of particular instruments such as electric pianos some of our other pianos uh, organ and claps really great so the reason I would use this is maybe I'm using an electric piano and our electric pianos sound great they're real nice and clean a lot of different models in there but when you meet an electric piano a vintage one in the wild it makes a lot of noise in the keys well as you guys know that's because an electric piano is made of metal and wood and so you can't get around that but it's part of the nuance well with the supernatural engine we can actually dive into that sound and very quickly and easily go ahead and turn up the mechanical noise when you push down the key push off the key and even the cabinet make it resonate for you so uh, it's gonna sound truer than you know it's gonna sound great on there now one of the other big features about the RDs is you can go ahead and split and layer up to eight internal sounds eight internal sounds in previous RDs you could do four but now we can do eight Another added feature is now we can go ahead and split and layer eight external sounds. That's right, external sounds. A lot of you guys out there like to use different software synthesizers uh, from different programs, and now you can easily integrate them inside your RD. And the last part about the layers and splits, so we can do eight, and we can also do a combination of internal and external in any order you want. So if you want to go ahead and have like make me main stage in there, but use the RD piano or electric piano and integrate them together, very easy. We can have all the assignments in the sliders because we have nine assignable sliders, eight assignable knobs, two assignable mod wheels. So very easily you can go in there and get them all signed and set up and set up what we call a scene. You know, set up a scene which we can when we switch softwares we can switch the MIDI setup. So once you go ahead and you set your parameters of the different software, you don't have to do it again. You can save it to different scenes inside the RD. That's something great. Now for you guys that are out there on the road. Don't forget, RD is synonymous, and her nickname is the Road Dog because she can take a heck of a beating. That being said, it, on the outputs, we have the main outs. We have balance XLR outputs. We have also quarter inch outputs, and we have a sub out. The sub out allows you to route any of the particular audio from the RD or the USB to separate outputs. Okay, this can be really helpful. Maybe you're doing a bass sound. Maybe you're having a backing track. Whatever, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Also, four pedal inputs. Okay, so you can go ahead and have your damper, you have you can have a volume, you can have uh, two more different foot controllers assigned to whatever you want, maybe with your software. So that's just a real quick, uh, oh, I almost forgot, most important thing, we're talking about software, and I'm not sure if I said it, uh, Harmony Central guys, so don't beat me up about this, but you can do USB audio now for the first time inside the RD. We've been doing USB MIDI in the RD for a little while, but now it's USB audio and, and MIDI. So that means the, US, the uh, RD2000 acts as a sound, excuse me, as, as an interface for your computer. So that way when I play main stage or whatever software, it's playing through the RD. Also when I'm in my DAW and I want to record my RD2000, I can go back into my DAW through the USB and get an incredible recording. This is something that's, that's really great. Don't worry, we still have MIDI. You still have the regular MIDI, it's not gone. And then also the output, so whatever way you want to go. So once again, this is the RD2000 from Roland, brand new. You can use it as a stage piano, as a MIDI controller, as a master MIDI controller. It's totally wonderful. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please hit us up at Roland, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for your support, and you guys take care.